Namaste guys, Rajesh Shiva Namaste Tech and in this video I am going to show you how to use the fingerprint lock option in WhatsApp. WhatsApp has finally added a native fingerprint lock option to its Android application. What this means is that you can finally lock WhatsApp using the fingerprint scanner on your Android device. You will no longer have to rely on a third party application or the app locking feature of your Android device for this purpose. The feature right now is in beta, but it should be rolled out to the Google Pay version of WhatsApp by the end of this month or early next month. To get the latest WhatsApp beta with fingerprint lock option, download the APK given in the description of this video. The rollout of this feature is being controlled by WhatsApp's servers, so it might not show up on your Android device even after installing the latest beta. In that case, you'll just have to wait patiently for the feature to be rolled out to your WhatsApp account. Anyways, let me now show you how to use the fingerprint lock option in WhatsApp. For that, Open WhatsApp, then tap the three dot overflow menu button on the top right corner. From there, go to settings, then you'll see account. Go inside accounts, privacy. Scroll to the very bottom and if the fingerprint lock option has been rolled out for your account, you should see the fingerprint lock option at the very bottom. Tap on it. You can now see there's a toggle to enable this feature. Tap on it and then verify your identity using the fingerprint scanner on your Android device. You will now get some options relating to fingerprint lock on WhatsApp, like whether you want to lock WhatsApp immediately after you exit it, after a minute of exiting the application or after 30 minutes. I'll say it's better to stick to the default option that is after one minute as if you lock WhatsApp immediately after exiting it, it would become quite frustrating to use it. There's also an option to mask your notification content. If you disable this option, then any WhatsApp notification will not display its content. However, if enabled, you'll still get a preview of all your messages, but to reply to them or to read the entire message for which you have to open WhatsApp, you'll have to confirm your identity. The feature is pretty straightforward. There are no other advanced options right now. There's also no option to log WhatsApp using password or passcode. The feature also does not work with face unlock right now, which is a bit of a bummer as face unlock is definitely more convenient to use compared to fingerprint scanner. Nonetheless, it's good to see WhatsApp finally adding a much requested feature to its Android application. One important thing to note here is that if you unlock WhatsApp and then exit it, then the card of the application in the recent app screen will give a preview of your WhatsApp chats. However, if you do not unlock the application and then exit it, then you can see that the card in the recent app overview screen is not displaying any of my recent chats. This I think is a major oversight from WhatsApp as it doesn't really make the fingerprint lock option foolproof. Here's hoping that WhatsApp fixes this issue with a future update. So that's about it for this video guys. I hope you found it useful. If that's the case, please do subscribe to our channel and do hit that like button below. Thanks for watching.